Emma Amos was a pioneering artist who challenged racism and sexism as directly as she could through her artwork. A well-celebrated painter, textile artist, and printmaker, Amos challenged the seemingly automatic subconscious understandings that come to mind when we see certain imagery. So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about my favorite Emma Amos painting, Measuring Measuring, using the analysis provided in one of my favorite books, Lisa Farrington's Creating Their Own Image, which features Measuring Measuring as its cover art. I had the privilege of working directly um, with this painting during my time at the Birmingham Museum of Art, as it resides in Birmingham's permanent collection. Born in Atlanta, Georgia, Amos was the first and only female member of the famed Spiral Artist Collective. She trained at the Central School of Art in London, received her master's from NYU, and eventually became the chair of the Department of Visual Arts at the Rutgers Mason Gross School of Art in New Brunswick. But the political climate in the 1980s, remember as much as Reaganomics was totally out of control in the 80s, the 80s was also the height of the womanist and black feminist movement where women activists, particularly black women activists and writers, were taking a stance against black and white folk alike to fight for the visibility of the unique conditions of being both black and female in the United States. This, of course, encouraged Amos to pursue her own feminine interest, and she joined many organizations like the Heresies Collective, where she became a member of the editorial board, um, edited their journal Heresies. She was also really active in the Women's Action Coalition, um, yet left that group because the central interest of the groups were really against or secondary to the interests of black women. In Measuring Measuring, Amos uses vivid color and fervent brushstroke to express her thought processes regarding the visualization of the black female body in Western art. Trimmed in Western African kente cloth, the painting integrates laser transfer photographs and acrylic painting to question common understandings of race, beauty, gender, colonialism, and the privileges of cultural hegemony. On the left, the painting depicts a faceless figure dressed in white gloves and a black hat, which was common to menstrual actors. The apparition is displaying a picture of a voluptuous, nude bronze, seemingly appropriated from the Venus de Milo. The second and central figure is a young black woman wrapped in kente cloth at the waist. Her body is fashioned so that she looks like an extrapolation of the first figure. In this way, Amos is challenging us to rethink ideas of beauty through the black female body. She's referencing the history of Western visual culture that defines the black female as anomaly or other commenting upon the omnipresence of representations that image black women as the complete and other antithesis of white femaleness. So in this manner, with all this history in mind, Amos is asking, what do we see when we view black women, especially the nude black woman? Can we ever see beauty in those same automatic ways? The central figure wears a simple necklace as well as rings, bracelets, and a handkerchief, but her body is also visually dissected at the neck, the pelvis, and the knees by painted portions of a yellow measuring tape, hence the name Measuring Measuring. So not only is Amos measuring American standards of beauty here, primarily she's measuring and making us challenge our conceptions of it. Baya documents, preserves, and promotes the contributions of the African-American arts community. Thus, this content is made free of charge. To support our efforts, please visit buyblackart.com. Live with the art you love.